हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यू पी टाइम्स फ्रेंड्स हम यहाँ पे एलेवंथ क्लास की जोग्राफी है उसको कवर कर रहे हैं बुक का नाम है इंडिया फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट जिसका आज हम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स पढ़ेंगे चैप्टर का नाम है यहाँ पे नेचुरल हजार्स एंड डिजास्टर्स नेचुरल हजार्स एंड डिजास्टर्स चलिए शुरू करते हैं आज का लेक्चर You might have heard or read about tsunami or seen images of horror on television set off immediately after it happened and you may also be aware of the severe earthquake in the Kashmir both sides of the line of control LOC and the damage caused to human life and the property during the these episodes are has moved us all and what are these as phenomena and how how they are caused and how how we can ourselves and these are some questions which can so ye kuch questions hai jo hamare minds mein aate jab bhi hum earthquake tsunami and unke wagera mein sunte hai to एंड इस चैप्टर में हम इन्हीं के बारे में जानेंगे कि इनके मतलब जो भी इनके एनालाइज करते हैं सम ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चंस को हम एनालाइज करेंगे इस चैप्टर में पढ़ेंगे मतलब एंड चेंज चेंज इज द लॉ ऑफ नेचर जो चेंज है वो लॉ ऑफ नेचर है वो होता है नेचुरली होता है मतलब अपने नेचर अपने हिसाब से मतलब अपने आप को सेट कर लेता है and it is continuous process that goes on under the under roughly involving phenomena big and small material and non material that that make our physical and social cultural environment in a process or it is a process present everywhere with variations and in terms of the magnitude intensity and the change can be seen seen gradual or slow process like the evolution of the land form and organism and it can be as sudden and swift as volcanic eruptions tsunami earthquakes lightning etc similar similarly it may be remain confined remain confined to a smaller area occurring within a few seconds like hailstorm tornadoes and the storm and, and it can also be global dimension uh, such as global warming and depletion of ozone layer besides these changes have different meaning on different people it it depends upon the perspective one take while trying to understand them from the perspective of nature changes are value natural these are neither good or bad but for human the perspe- human perspective these are value loaded and there are some changes that desirable and good like the change in seasons ripening in the of fruits while there are others like earthquakes floods and wars that are considered considered bad as undesirable for human human being in this chapter we will read about some of the the changes and which changes are considered considered bad and have haunted humankind for a long time disasters are in general and natural disasters in particular uh, are such some such changes that that are always dislike dislike and feared by the human kind 
वॉट इज अ डिजास्टर डिजास्टर क्या होता है डिजास्टर इज एन अनडिजायरेबल अक्रेंस रिजल्टिंग फोर रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम फोर्सेज दैट आर लार्जली आउटसाइड ह्यूमन कंट्रोल एंड स्ट्राइक क्विकली एंड विद लिटिल और नो वार्निंग विच कैन कॉज ए थ्रेटन टू सीरियस डिस्ट्रप्शन ऑफ द लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी इंक्लूडिंग दी डेथ एंड इंजरी टू ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल एंड रिक्वायर्स देयर फोर मोबिलाइजेशन मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ एफर्ट्स इन एक्सेस ऑफ दी विच आर नॉर्मली प्रोवाइडेड बाई दी स्टेटरी इमरजेंसी सर्विस तो डिजास्टर क्या होता है कि एक अनडिजायरेबल इवेंट होता है जो टोटली मतलब ह्यूमन के कंट्रोल के बाहर होता है एंड ये सडन होता है तो सडन में मतलब बहुत ज़्यादा लॉस होता है लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी को एंड फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम जोग्राफिकल लिटरेचर्स ब्यूड एंड डिजास्टर्स आर कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ द नेचुरल फोर्सेज एंड दीज एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स वर ट्रीटेड एज इनोसेंट हेल्पलेस विक्टिम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ द माइटी फोर्सेज ऑफ नेचर बट नेचुरल फोर्सेज आर नोट ओनली कॉज कॉज ऑफ डिजास्टर डिजास्टर्स आर कॉज बाई सम ह्यूमन ह्यूमन काइंड एक्टिविटीज देर देर आर सम एक्टिविटीज कैरियड बाई द्यूमन एंड द्यूमन बींग्स दैट आर डायरेक्टली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द डिजास्टर्स भोपाल गैस ट्रेजडी इसके लिए जो ह्यूमन ह्यूमन मतलब मैन इसके लिए रिस्पॉन्सिबल था एंड चैरनोबल डिजास्टर के लिए ह्यूमन रिस्पॉन्सिबल है यहाँ पे एंड रिलीज ऑफ सी एफ सी क्लोरो फ्लोरो कार्बन एंड इंक्रीज इन ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज इन एनवायरमेंटल पॉल्यूशन लाइक द नॉइज एयर एंड वाटर एंड सॉइल आर सम डिजास्टर्स विच कैन कॉज डायरेक्टली बाई दी ह्यूमन एक्शन तो ये जो कुछ डिजास्टर्स है जो ह्यूमन बींग्स के द्वारा डायरेक्ट कॉज किए जाते हैं मतलब किए जाते हैं एंड देर आर सम अदर एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स डेट एसिलेट एंड इंटेंसीफाई डिजास्टर इनडायरेक्टली देर आर एंड लैंड स्लाइड एंड फ्लड ड्यू टू दी डिफोरेस्टेशन तो लैंड स्लाइड और फ्लड्स कैसे होती है तो डिफोरेस्टन होता है एक जगह का लार्ज एरिया में तो सॉइल होती है वहाँ पर वो मतलब अनस्टेबल हो जाती है और उसके कारण हमको लैंड स्लाइड देखने को मिलती है अनसाइंटिफिक लैंड यूज एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी फ्रेगाइल एरिया सम of the disasters that are the result of indirect human action and can you identify some of other human activities going on in and around your neighborhood and school that can lead to the disasters that are result in indirect human human actions can you identify some of the human activities going in or around your neighborhood school that can lead to the disasters in near near future can you suggest some measures of to prevent it to inform dekhiye chapter mein uh, it can it is a common experience that human made disasters have increase both in their numbers and magnitude over the last year over the years and the con, uh, concentrate concentrate effort are on the various levels to prevent the prevent and minimize their occurrence the 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 success has been only nominal for so far it has it is possible to prevent prevent of some of these disasters created by the human action as opposed to this this 
very little is possible to prevent natural disaster therefore the best way is to emphasize the natural disaster mitigation in management and establishment of national management national institute of disaster management of india at summit rio de janeiro brazil 1993 the world conference on disaster management on may 19 94 the yoko hama japan etc are some of the concrete steps step towards the direction initiated at different levels most often it is observed that the scholars use disasters natural hazards as intangible both are related to phenomena yet quite distinct from each other mm. hence it is necessary to distinguish between the two natural hazards are the element of circumstances of natural environment that have that have the potential to cause harms to people or property go to so, jo natural hazards hazards hote hain ye bhi matlab environment jo ye element hote hain nature ke jinki wajah se हार्म पहुँचा सकते लाइफ एंड प्रॉपर्टी को एंड और बोध एंड दीज मे बी शिफ्ट और परमानेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द रेस्पेक्टिव एनवायरमेंट सेटिंग लाइक द करेंट इन द ओशियंस स्टीप स्लोप एंड अनस्टेबल स्ट्रक्चरल स्ट्रक्चर features in the himalayas and at extreme climatic conditions in disasters or glaciated areas as con- compared to the natural hazards and natural disasters are relatively sudden and cause large scale widespread death loss of property and disturbance or to social systems and life uh, life over which people have the little or no control and thus any event co- can be classed as disaster when the magnitude of the destruction and damage caused by it is very high generally disasters are generalized experiences of uh, people the world over the disasters are similar to the similar and comparable to the each other and every disaster is unique in terms to the socio environmental factors or uh, that is that control it and the social res- social response to the generate and the way each social group negotiates with it however the opinion mentioned above it indicative of three important things firstly the magnitude intensity and frequency of frequency and damage is caused by the natural disasters have increased over the years and secondly the, the there have there is a growing concern among the people and the world over the deal with the means of created by the we saw that the loss of human life and property can be minimized and finally the significant changes have been taken place in pattern of the natural disaster over the years
there are there has also been a change in the uh, perceptible of natural disasters and and hazards previously hazards and disasters were seen as too closely associated and interrelated phenomena that is areas prone to the natural hazards were no were more when vulnerable to the disasters and hence people avoided tampering with the delicate balance that existed in the in a given ecosystem people avoided intensity intensification of the their activities and such as they that they that is how disaster were less damaging technological power has given to large capacity to the human inter intervention in nature consequently now human being tend to intensify their activities into the disaster prone areas and increasing their vulnerability to disasters and colonize colonization of the flood plains of most of the rivers and and mumbai and chennai along along the coast and touching the shore due to high land values make them vulnerable to the occurrence of cyclone cyclones and hurricane and tsunamis these observations can be correlated by the given data by the data given in table 7.1 showing the magnitude of deaths caused by the caused by the serious natural disasters in the past 60 years in the different countries in the world it is evident from the table that the natural disasters have caused widespread loss of life and property concern concerted and effort are at the various level to make appropriate measures and the deals with the situation it is also we felt that the damages caused by the natural disasters have been uh, repercussions uh, that that are beyond the means and capabilities of individuals nation state to cope up with hence this issue was raised at the un general assembly in 1989 and it was finally form formalized at the world conference on disaster management in 1994 and at the yokohama japan then this this was subsequently called yokohama Strate strategy and plan of action for for a safer world classification of disasters human beings in the world over have experienced disasters and have faced a faced and lived with them now people are becoming aware and various steps have been initiated to the different levels of the mitigating efforts of the disasters identification of the class identification and classification of the disaster is being considered as an effect of effect and scientific steps deal promote uh, promptly and efficiently with the disaster broadly natural and disaster can be classified under the four categories india is one of the one of those countries which has experienced most natural disaster mentioned in the table 6.2 every year the losses thousands of the villages and property per millions of rupees and due to the natural calamities and the following sections some of the the highly devastating natural disaster have seen seen natural 
had been discussed particularly in the in the context of the india natural disaster and hazards in india it was discussed in one previous chapter that the india is vast and diverse in terms of its physical and socio cultural attributes it is largely due to the due to its vast geographical area environmental diversities and cultural plurality that scholars often dis- describe it using two meaningful uh, adjectives like the indian subcontinent and the land of unity in diversity and it is vastness in terms of of natural and attributes combined with its prolonged colonial past and countering country continuing various forms of the social discrimination and also equally large population have enhanced its vulnerability to natural disaster and this these observations can also be illustrated illustrated by focusing on some of the major natural disaster in india first earthquake earthquakes are by far more unpredictable and highly destructive of the all natural disasters and you have already learned causes of earthquake in the जो हमने मतलब फंडामेंटल ऑफ फिजिकल जोग्राफी की जो बुक थी उसमें अर्थक्वेक के बारे में मतलब काफ़ी डिटेल में पढ़ा था एंड अर्थक्वेक दैट इज दैट आर द टेक्टोनिक ओरिजन हैव प्रूव द मोस्ट डिवास्टेटिंग एंड देयर अर्थ देयर एरिया ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस इज आल्सो क्वाइट लार्ज तो अर्थ को अर्थक्वेक का जो एरिया ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस होता है वो भी लार्ज होता है एंड दिस एंड दिस अर्थक्वेक रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द a series of the earth movement brought brought about by sudden release of energy during the tectonic activities in the earth's crust and as as compared to these the earthquake associated with the volcanic eruption rock fall landslides and subsidence for particularly mining areas and impounding particularly in mining areas impounding of dams and reservoirs etc have limited areas of the influence and the scale of damage area and it was mentioned in chapter 2 of the book that the indian plate is moving moving at the speed of 1 cm 1 cm per year towards the north and the north eastern direction the that and the, this movement of the plate is being constantly obstructed by the eurasian plate of the north and as a result of this both the plate are said to be locked with each other and resulting in accumulation of energy at a different point of time excessive accumulation of energy result in the building up of stress which ultimately leads to the breaking up of the rock and sudden release of energy caused earthquake and along the himalaya the malian arc and some of the most vulnerable union territories states are jammu and kashmir ladakh himachal pradesh uttarakhand sikkim darjeeling sub division of the west bengal and all seven states of the northeast apart from the religious 
रीजन ऑफ अरे अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज रीजन दी कल्चरल वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया पर्टिकुलरली गुजरात इन 1918 एटीन टू नाइनटीन नाइनटीन एंड टू थाउजेंड वन एंड दी इन नाइनटीन एंड नाइनटीन हैव आल्सो बीन एक्सपीरियंस एक्सपीरियंस सम सीवियर डिफिकल्ट अर्थ क्वेज एंड अर्थ साइंस साइंटिस्ट हैव फाउंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्लेन दिन कॉज अकेरेंस ऑफ द अर्थक्वेक इन दी वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट एंड मोस्ट स्टेबल एंड मेच्योर लैंड मासिस ऑफ द पेनसुलर ब्लॉक फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम रिसेंटली सम साइंटिस्ट हैव कम अप विद द थ्योरी ऑफ इमरजेंस ऑफ फॉल्ट लाइन एंड द एनर्जी बिल्डअप along the fault line and represented by the river bhima krishna and near the lathur and the osa osa osanavar maharashtra and the possibly breaking down of maharashtra indian plate नेशनल जियो फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी जियो जियो फिजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मीटरियोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया अलॉन्ग विद दी रिसेंटली फॉर्म नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट हैव बीन मेड एज इंटेंसिव एनालिस ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड अर्थक्वेक्स दैट हैव अक्रेंस इन इंडिया इन डिफरेंट पार्ट और डिफरेंट ईयर्स इन दी पास्ट एंड बेस्ड ऑन दीज दे डिवाइडेड इंडिया इन टू फोर फॉलोइंग टाइप्स ऑफ फॉलोइंग फाइव अर्थक्वेक जोन जो पाँच अर्थक्वेक जोन में डिवाइड किया गया है इंडिया को पहला है वेरी हाई डैमेज रिस्क जोन एंड सेकेंड है हाई डैमेज रिस्क जोन थर्ड है मॉडिरेट डैमेज रिस्क जोन लो डैमेज रिस्क जोन एंड वेरी लो डैमेज रिस्क जोन Out of these, the first two zones had experienced some of the most devastating earthquake in India, or as shown in Figure six point two. Areas vulnerable to these earthquakes are the northeast state, and areas to the north of the uh, Darwanga and Araya along the Indo-Nepal border and Bihar, Uttarakhand, Western Himachal Pradesh, and. Around Dharamsala and Kashmir Valley in the Himalaya region and the Kutch Gujarat, these are included the very high damaging earthquake. In Malay regions, me very high damage earthquake to a where risk zone similarity in the remaining remaining parts of the Jammu and Kashmir. and ladakh himachal pradesh northern pa- northern parts of punjab eastern part of haryana delhi pan- western uttar pradesh and northern bihar of fault under the high damage risk zone Rema- remaining parts of the countries fall under the moderate to very low damage risk zone at the most of these areas that can be that can be considered safe are from the stable land masses covered under the deccan plateau 
socio environmental consequences of the earthquake the idea of earthquake is often associated with the often associated with the fear and horror due to the scale of mag- scale magnitude and suddenness at which the spread disaster on the the surface of the earth without discrimination it it becomes a calamity when it strike areas of the high density population and it is not only damage and destroy settlement infrastructure transport and communication networks industries and developmental activities but also rob the population of their their material and socio cultural gains that they have preserved over generations and it renders them them homeless which puts an extra pressure and stress particularly on the weak economy of the developing countries effect of earthquake earthquake has all encompassing disasters efforts on the areas of occurrence some of the some of the important ones are listed below the so main made structure thing is cracking sliding overturning and buckling collapse so that the structure and possible chain effect तो ये जो सब मैन मेड स्ट्रक्चर होता है और ऑन दी वाटर पे क्या होता है वेव जनरेट होती है अर्थक्वेक की वजह से एंड जो हाइड्रोडाइनमिक प्रेशर जनरेट होता है सुनामी आती है पॉसिबल चैन चैन इफेक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दी अर्थक्वेक आल्सो सम ऑफ दी सीरियस far reaching environmental consequences surface seismic waves produce fissure on the upper layer of the earth crust and through the through which the water and the volatile material uh, gush out and indulating the neighboring areas and earthquakes are the also responsible for the landslide and and often these caused obstructions in the flow of rivers and and channels resulting in the formation of reservoirs and sometimes the rivers also change their course causing floods and other calamities in the affected areas earthquake hazards mitigation unlike the other other disasters the damage caused by earthquakes are more devastating since it is destroy most of the transport and communication links providing timely reliefs and the victim becomes difficult and it is more possible to prevent prevent and the occurrence of an earthquake as these next west option to emphasize on disaster preparedness and mitigation rather than the curative measures such as the establishing earthquakes monitoring center seismological centers for regular monitoring and fast dis- dis- dissemination of information among the people in the vulnerable areas and use of use of geographical positioning system gps can we great help to monitoring the movement of the tectonic plates preparing the vulnerability maps of the country and the dis 
डिसमुलेशन ऑफ द बलनरेबिलिटी रिस्क इंफॉर्मेशन अमॉन्ग दीपल एंड एजुकेटिंग दैम अबाउट द वेज एंड मीन्स ऑफ मिनिमाइजिंग द एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द डिजास्टर एंड मॉडिफाइंग द हाउस टाइप्स एंड बिल्डिंग डिजाइंस इन द बलनरेबल एरियाज एंड डिस्करेजिंग डिस्करेजिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द हाई प्राइज बिल्डिंग्स लार्ज इंडस्ट्रियल स्टब्लिशमेंट एंड बिग अर्बन सेंटर्स इन सच एरियाज फाइनली making or making it mandatory to adopt earthquake residence design and use light material and in major construction activities in the vulnerable areas इस मैप में जैसे देख सकते हैं हम वेरी हाई डैमेज जोन रिस्क तो पूरा नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट है ये वेरी हाई डैमेज जोन में आता है एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ ईस्ट ये यहाँ पे सिक्किम भी आता है एंड उत्तराखंड हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर का ये पार्ट एंड कच एंड ये ये वाला रीजन ये सब आते यहाँ तक ये ये यहाँ तक जो भी ये जितने भी रीजन है ये सारे आते वेरी हाई डैमेज रिस्क जोन एंड फिर इसके बाद हाई डैमेज रिस्क जोन हाई डैमेज रिस्क जोन में फिर ये वाला रीजन एंड ये ये वाला रीजन ये सब आई एंड मॉडरेट रिस्क जोन मॉडरेट रिस्क जोन में यहाँ पे जैसे ये रीजन मॉडरेट रिस्क जोन हो गया लो डैमेज रिस्क जोन लो डैम डैमेज रिस्क जोन ये हो गया एंड लास्ट में वेरी लो डैमेज रिस्क जोन तो ये जो रीजन है वेरी लो डैमेज रिस्क जोन में आता है नेक्स्ट है सुनामी अर्थक्वेक एंड वॉल्केनिक इरप्शन दैट कॉज दी सी फ्लोर टू मूव अबरप्टली रिजल्टिंग इन सडन डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ओशन फ्लोर टू मूव अबरप्टली सडन डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ओशन फ्लोर इन दी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हाई वर्टिकल वेव्स कॉल्ड सुनामीज हार्बर वेव्स एंड सीजमिक सी वेव्स नॉर्मली दी सीजमिक वेव्स कॉज ओनली वन इंस्टेंट इस वर्टिकल वेव्स बट दी आफ्टर द इनिशियल डिस्टरबेंस दी ए सीरीज ऑफ आफ्टर वेव्स आर क्रिएटेड इन दी वाटर दैट ऑसिलेट बिटवीन दी हाई क्रेस्ट एंड लो क्रेस्ट एंड लो लो थ्रू इन इन ऑर्डर टू रिस्टोर द वाटर लेवल The speed of the wave in the ocean depends upon the depth of the water, and in it is in the shallow shallow water than the ocean deep. As a result of these impacts of tsunami, is less over the ocean and more more. near the coast where they cause large scale de devastation and therefore is a ship as at the at it is not much affected by the tsunami and difficult to detect the tsunami in the in the deeper part of it see and it is so because over the water the tsunami has very long wave length and and limited limited wave height and and thus the tsunami waves rise rises and ships are only meters or or two 
and each each Ryzen fault takes several minutes as opposed to its its this when the tsunami enters the shallow water and it is its wavelength gets reduced and the period remains unchanged which increase the wave, wave, wave height sometimes this height can be up to 15 meter or more which cause high large scale destructions along the shores thus these are also called so shallow water waves and tsunamis are frequently observed and pacific pacific ring of fire along the pacific ring of fire and particularly the particularly along the coast of alaska japan philippines and in iceland of southeast asia indonesia malaysia myanmar sri lanka and india etc after reaching the coast of this coast the tsunami waves release enormous energy stored in them and water flows turbulently on the land destroying port cities and towns structures buildings and the settlements shine since the coastal areas are densely populated the world over these these are also the centers of intense human activity and the loss of life and property likely too much higher by the tsunami as compared to the natural hazards in the coastal areas. The extent of devastation caused by the tsunami can be assessed through them. Through the visual on Banda Act Indonesia presented in this book unlike the natural hazards the mitigation of hazards created by this uh, tsunami is difficult mainly because of the fact that the lo losses are on much larger scale it is beyond the capacity of individual states or government to mitigate the damage hence combined efforts a uh, combined efforts at the international level are the possible ways of dealing with the disasters and as has been the case of 2004 tsunami that occurred in on 26 december 2004 and in which more than about uh, 3 lakh people lost their lives in India has volunteered to join the international tsunami warning system after the December 2004 tsunami disaster. Tropical Cyclone Tropical cyclones are intense low pressure areas confined by the area laying between 30 degrees north and to 30 degrees south so a low pressure area hota hai and develop hota hai yahan pe 30 degree north to 30 degree south tak ye matlab simit hai and latitude in the atmosphere around which high velocity winds blow horizontally it extend up to the 500 to 1000 km and vertically from the surface to 12 to 14 km a tropical cyclone or hurricane is like a heat engine is energized by the release of the latent heat on the account of the condensation of the moisture that that the wind gathers after moving over the oceans and seas There are differences of the opinion among scientists about the exact mechanism of a tropical cyclone.
However, some initial con conditions for the emergence of the tropical cyclones are large-scale continuous sh sharply uh, of warm and moist air that can release enormous latent heat, strong correlative force that can prevent feeling of low pressure at the center, absence of the correlative force near the equator prohibits the formation of tropical cyclones between 0 to 5 degree latitude and unstable conditions through the tropo troposphere and that create the local disturbance around which, which the cycle develops. Spatio-temporal distribution of the tropical cyclone in India. Owing the its peninsular shape sound surrounded by the Bay of Bengal and in the east and the Arabian Sea in the west. The tropical cyclones in India also originate in the two important locations through the most of the cyclones originate between the 10 to 15 degree north latitude during the monsoon season and yet in the case of the Bay of Bengal, the cyclone mostly developed during the month of October to November. Here they originate between 16 to 2 degree north latitudes and to the west of 92 degree east. east. By July, the place of the origin of the storm shift to around 18 degree north latitude and west of the 90 degree east near the Sundarvan Delta. Concurrent consequences of tropical cyclone It was men mentioned that the energy of the tropical cyclones comes from the latent heat released by the warm moist air and hence with the increase of the distance from the sea and the force of the cyclone decreases, decreases in India the force of the cyclones decreases with increasing in distance from the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. The coastal areas are often struck and severe cyclone storms with an average velocity of 180 km per hour often often this result in abnormal rise of sea level and known as storm surge. And this result in the indulation of human settlement, agriculture, fields, damaging crops and destruction of structure created by the human beings. Floods To read in newspaper and watch images of flood on television occurring in the some region during the rainy season and in inundation the land and the human settlement by rise of water in the channels and its spill over presents the conditions of flooding unlike unlike other natural disasters disasters the cause of the flood are well established. Floods are relatively slow in occurrence and often occur in well identified regions and within expected time in a year. Flood occur commonly commonly when the water is in the form of subsurface runoff exceeds the carrying capacity of the river channel and streams flow into the neighboring low-lying areas 
lens and at times this even goes beyond the capacity of lakes and other inland water bodies in which they flow floods can also be caused due to the storm surge in the coastal areas and high intensity rainfall for a considerably longer time period melting of ice and snow reduction in the illustration of rate and presence of the eroded material in the in due higher rate of soil erosion through and the floods occur frequently over wide geographical areas having disastrous in the south and southeast asia southeast asian countries particularly china india and bangladesh are frequent and equally disastrous once again unlike other natural disasters human beings play an important role in the genesis and as well as spread of flood indiscriminate deforestation and unscientific agriculture practice disturbances along the natural drainage channels and colonization of the flood plains and river beds are some of the human activities that play an important role in increasing the intensity magnitude and gravity of flood various state of india face heavy loss heavy loss of the river and a prop properly due to the recurrent of flood drastic war ayo national flood commission national rashtriya war ayo national flood commission identified 40 million hectare of the land as the flood prone in india and the figure 6.6 shows the flood affected regions in india and ajum assam and west bengal and bihar are among the high flood prone prone states of the india apart from these the most of the river in the northern state like punjab and uttar pradesh and are vulnerable to occasional flood and it has been noticed that the state like rajasthan gujarat haryana and punjab are also getting in building in, re, in recent decades due to the flash flood flash flood and this is partly because of the pattern of the monsoon and the partially because of the blocking of the most of the streams and rivers channels by the human activities and some sometimes tamil nadu experience flooding during the november january due to the retreating monsoon consequence of consequence and control of flood frequent inundation of agriculture agricultural land and human settlement particularly in the assam west bengal bihar and eastern uttar pradesh flooding rivers coastal areas of the odisha andhra pradesh tamil nadu gujarat and gujarat cyclone and punjab rajasthan north northern gujarat and haryana flood flood have serious consequences of the national economy and society flood do not destroy valuable crops every year but also damage the physical infrastructure such as the roads rails bridges and human settlements and millions of people are rendered homeless and are washed down along with their cattle in the flood and the spread of the diseases like cholera gastro and intestinal hepatitis hepatitis and other water borne diseases spread in the flood affected areas however the flood 
also make up make a few positive contributions every year flood deposits deposits fertile seeds agriculture and the flood floods region and good for the crops mazuri assam and the largest reptile iceland and the bird is it is the best example of the good paddy crops after the annual rain rain floods annual floods in the brahmaputra but the but these are insignificant because benefits in in comparison to the grave loss loss losses the government of india as well as the state government are also aware of the means means created by the flood every year how these governments generally respond to the flood so the construction of the flood protection embankment in the flood prone area construction of dam and afforestation of discouraging major construction activities in the upper reaches of the most most of the flood creating flood creating rivers and it are also some steps that need to be taken up on urgent basis removal of human encroachment from the river channels and the depopulating the flood plains can be the other step and as this is the particularly true in the western and northern parts of the country which experience less flood cyclone centers may be provide relief in coastal areas which hit by the storm surge droughts the term drought is applicable to an extended period when there is a shortage of water availability due to the inadequate precipitation excessive rate of evaporation and over utilization of the water from the reservoirs and other sources other storage including the ground water types of drought meteorological meteorological droughts and it is a situation when the there is a prolonged period of inadequate rainfall marks in mild distribution of the some overtime and space agricultural drought it is known as it is also known as the soil moisture drought characterized by the low soil low soil moisture and that is necessary to support the crop and thereby resulting in the crop failure moreover if the if an area has more than 30% of the its gross crop area and and irrigation the area is excluded from the drought and drought prone category hydrological it result it 
it results when the availability of the water difference different shortage of the reservoir and aquifers lakes reservoirs and etc falls below what the precipitation can replenish ecological drought when the productivity of the natural ecosystem fails due to the shortage of the water and consequences of the ecological ecological distress damage and induced in the ecosystem various part of the india experience these drought recurrently uh, which result in some serious socio economic and ecological problems drought prone areas in india indian agriculture has been heavily dependent on the monsoon rainfall drought and flood are two accompanying accompanying features of indian climate according to the some estimate nearly 19% of the total uh, geographical areas geographical area of of the country and 12% of its total population suffers due to the drought every year and every year about 30% of the for 30% of the country's total area is identified as drought prone affecting around 50 million people and it is common experience for that while some part of the country reel under floods and there are regions that face severe drought during the same period moreover it it, it is also a common sight to witness that one region suffers due to the uh, flood in the season and experiences drought in other this is mainly because of the large scale variation in the and un un unpredictability in the behavior behavior of the monsoon of india and thus drought are by spread and common phenomena in most part of the country but these are most recurrent and severe in some and and not so in the others on the basis of severity the drought the drought of india this is because of the main large scale variation in the 
behavior of widespread of the common phenomena most of the part of the country but these are most recurrent of severe and some and not in others on the basis of severity india can be divided into the following regions extreme extreme drought affected areas and it is evident from the figure 6.7 that most part of the rajasthan particularly areas of the west of the aravalli marustali kutch region of the gujarat fall under this category included here are also districts like Jaisalmer and Wadmer from the Indian desert that received less than 90 90 mm average rainfall. Severe drought prone areas, parts of eastern Rajasthan and most part of the Madhya Pradesh, eastern part of Maharashtra, interior parts of the Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka plateau, northern part of the interior Tamil Nadu and southern parts of the jharkhand and interior odisha are included in this category moderate drought affected areas northern part of the rajasthan haryana southern districts of the uttar pradesh and remaining parts of the gujarat maharashtra except konkan Jharkhand and Coimbatore plateau of Tamil Nadu and interior Karnataka are included in this category the remaining part of the india can be considered either free or free less prone at less prone drought consequences of drought drought have escalating effects of various on various aspects of environment and social society crop failure leading to the scarcity of food grain usko hum akal bolte hain fodder and trimka inadequate rainfall resulting in shortage of the water jackal and open shortage in all three all the three three calls it is most devastating large scale death of the cattle and other animal mitigating of human and live stock human most devastating large scale deaths of cattle and other animals migrating of human and livestock are the common most common sites of the seen in the drought affected areas the scarcity of the com compels people to to consume and contaminated the result in the spread of water borne disease and like gastro enteritis cholera hepatitis etc drought have both immediate as well long term disastrous consequences on consequences on the socio social and physical environment consequently planning for drought has to be take both aspects into consideration the provisions of the distribution of safe card drinking water medicine uh, for the victim and availability of fodder and water is the caters cattle shifting the people shifting of the people and their livestock and la suffer place etc safer place etc and are some steps that need to be taken immediately identification of the groundwater potential 
in the forms of aquifers and and the transfer of the river water from the surplus area to deficit area and particularly plannings of the interlinking of the river and construction of the reservoir and dams that should be that should be taken given a serious uh, thought to remote sensing and satellite imaging can be the great link interlink and identifying the groundwater potential dissimulation of knowledge about the drought resistance crops and prop, proper training and practice practice at the same time can be the long term measure and will be helpful drought mitigation and rainwater harvesting can be also be effective method of minimizing the efforts of drought lands like have you ever read about the blocking of road in srinagar disruption of the rail services by stone falling the konkan railway track and it is happened due to the landslide which is rapid and sliding of large mass bedrock disasters due to the landslides are general and far less dramatic than due to earthquake volcanic eruption tsunami and cyclone but their impacts on the natural environment and nat national economy is, is in no way less severe unlike with this, unlike other disasters that sudden and unpredict unpredicted unpredictable are largely controlled by the macro and regional factors landslide are largely controlled by the controlled by highly localized factor hence gathering who gathering information and and monitoring the possibilities of the landslide is not only difficult but also immense immensely cost intensive it is difficult to define in a precise statement and generalize the occurrence and behavior of a landslide however on the basis of the past experience frequency and certain causal relationship with the controlling factor like the geology geomorphic agents slope land use vegetation cover and human activities india has been divided into a number of zones landslide vulnerability zones and very high vulnerability zones highly unstable relative relatively young mountains areas in the himalayas and andaman and nicobar high rainfall region with steep slopes in the western ghats and nilgiris the northeastern region and along the areas experience frequent ground shaking due to the earth earthquake etc are and the intense areas of intense human activity particularly those related to the construction construction of road dams etc are included in this zone high high vulnerability zone areas that have almost similar condition to those in very high vulnerability zone are also included in this category and this is very this is only difference 
the only difference in between the two is the combination intensity and frequency of controlling factor all the himalayan states and the states of the northeastern region except plains of assam included the high vulnerability zones included in the high vulnerability zone a moderate to low vulnerability zone areas that receive less precipitation and trans himalayan areas trans himalayan areas of the ladakh tibi himalayan pradesh and undulated yet stable relief and low precipitation areas in the aravalli range shed region areas of the western and western and eastern ghats and deccan plateau experience occasional landslides and landslides due to the mining and subsiding are almost common in states like jharkhand odisha and and chatisgarh madhya pradesh maharashtra andhra pradesh karnataka tamil nadu goa and kerala other other areas the remaining part of the india particularly states like rajasthan haryana uttar pradesh bihar west bengal except district of the darjeeling and and assam except district of parvi anglong and coastal regions of the southern states are safe as far as landslide are concerned consequences of landslides landslides have have relatively smaller and localized uh, area direct of influence but but road block destruction of railway lines and channel blocking due to falls have far reaching consequences diversion of rivers course during the landslide can be lead to the flood of loss of life and property it also makes spatial interaction difficult risky as well as the costly affair with the towns adversely affected the development of active activities in these areas mitigation it is always advisable to adopt area specific measures to deal with landslide and rest restrictions on the construction and other developmental activities such as roads and dams limiting agriculture and really and areas with moderate slope and controlling on the development of the large scale the high vulnerability zone and should be enforced this should be supplemented by some positive actions like promoting the promoting the large scale afforestation programs and construction of bunks and reduce the reduce the flow of water terrace farming should be encouraged and the the northeastern hills states where jammu and selection burn and shipping cultivation is still prevalent 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 disaster management disasters due to the cyclones and like the ones caused by earthquakes tsunamis and volcanic eruptions are more predictable in the terms of the time and place of their their occurrence and more moreover with the help of the development of the techniques to monitor the behavior of cyclones and their intensity direction and magnitude is it has become possible to manage the cyclonic hazards to some extent construction of cyclonic shelters embankment dikes reservoirs reservoirs and afforestation to reduce the 
uh, speed of the wheels and and are some of the steps that can help in the minimizing the damage however increases like india bangladesh myanmar etc in successive stops like due to the high vulnerability of their population residing in the coastal areas last chapter conclusion on the basis of above discussion it can be concluded that disaster can be natural and result of human activity so humne matlab is chapter mein dekha hai ki jo disaster hai wo ek natural condition bhi ho sakti hai and jo human human induced activity hoti hai unke through bhi jo disaster hai yahan pe matlab हो सकते हैं एंड ऑल दी हजार्स यू नीड नोट टू टर्न इन टू डिजास्टर इंस डिफिकल्ट टू एस्टिमेट डिजास्टर्स पर्टिकुलरली नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स दैट दी नेक्स्ट बेस्ट ऑप्शन दी मिटिगेट एंड प्रिपेयरनेस देर आर थ्री स्टेजेस इन्वॉल्व इन डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड दिच आर दे फर्स्ट है प्री डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट इन्वॉल्व generating the data and information about the disaster and prepared vulnerability zoning map spreading awareness among the people about these and apart from these disasters planning and preparedness and preventive measures are other steps that need to be taken in the vulnerable uh, areas during the disasters the second second day during the disasters rescue and the relief operations such as evacuation evacuation and construction shelters and relief camps supplying of water food clothing and medical aids etc should be done on an emergency basis post disaster operation should involve in rehabilitation and recovery of victim it should be it should also be concentrate on the capacity buildings in order to cope cope up with the future disaster if any these measures have special significance to a country like india which has about 2/3 of its geographical area and equal proportion of the population vulnerable to disasters the introduction of disaster management bill 2005 and establishing of the natural disaster management are some example of positive step taken by the government of india इसी के साथ हमारे चैनल को समाप्त होता है थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो अगर आपको ये चैनल पसंद आया तो प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल थैंक यू